everyone. Today I'm going to discuss about the factors affecting on delta O. So what is delta O? Crystal field splitting energy in octahedral complex is said to be delta O. Right? So here we are going to discuss the factors. So the factors are nature of metal ion and nature of ligands and the geometry of the complex. So first we will see the factors of metal ion, nature of metal ion, okay. So the first factor is, which is affecting on delta O, the first factor is charge of the metal, okay. So charge of the metal, with the increase in charge of the metal, there would be increase in the value of delta O. That means delta O is directly proportional to charge of the metal ion because metal with high oxidation state will polarize the ligands more. That means the interaction between metal orbitals and ligand orbitals will be close. Therefore, the repulsion would be high. Therefore, the splitting of the orbitals will be high. The energy gap between two energy levels will be high. That means the crystal field splitting of splitting energy in octahedral complexes is high. For example, if we see the hexa aqua iron complex with the plus 3 oxidation state, same complex, hexa aqua iron complex with the plus 2 oxidation state. If we see the values, delta O is 13,700, here 10,400. The metal ion with increase in its charge will be having the more delta O. Okay. The next factor is number of the electrons. Okay. So, delta O is inversely proportional to number of d electrons. That means less number, the metal complex which is having less number of d electrons would have more value of delta O because less number of d electrons in the sense less electron density right therefore there would be close attraction between metal and the ligand orbitals as usual the repulsion will be more therefore the splitting energy delta o will be high for example if you see the examples hexa aqua cobalt complex with plus 2 oxidation state with d7 system it is having 9300 whereas hexa aqua nickelate with the d8 system it is having delta o is 8500 next factor is size of the metal ion as the size of the metal ion is increasing if you see coming cobalt rhodium iridium while coming down to the group the atomic size will be increases as we know 3D complexes, the 3D metal complexes can form low spin and high spin complexes, but when coming to 4D and 5D, they used to form only low spin complexes. Right? So, because of this, the delta O will be increases from 3D to 4D, 4D to 5D. If you see in the examples, hexamine cobalt, hexamine rhodium, hexamine iridium the delta O values will be increasing like this, right? With the increasing size of the metal ion, there is increase in value of delta O. And the second factor, nature of ligand, right? So, based on the nature of ligand, complexes can form strong field complexes, weak field, weak field complexes. If the metal ion is having strong field ligand, it will form a low spin complex. If the ligand is having weak field ligand, it will form high spin complex, right? So, if the ligand is having strong field complex, the interaction will be close and the repulsion between the electrons of metal orbitals and the ligand orbitals will be high. So, that the energy gap will be more. That means, the crystal field splitting energy delta O is more in strong field complexes that means low spin complexes right if the metal ion is having weak field ligands they will form high spin complexes 
and the interaction will be less therefore the repulsion will be less right so the energy gap between the energy levels will be less that means the crystal field splitting energy delta o will be less in case of weak field complexes the delta o is less than that of pairing energy that means in weak field complexes the electron filling will takes place according to hund's rule the pairing is not taking easily right so delta o is less than that of pairing energy but in case of strong field complexes the pairing will be takes place easily the delta o that is crystal field splitting energy is greater than that of pairing energy most of the students having the doubts how we can remember the strong field ligands how we can remember the weak field ligands here i have a simple trick okay to remember the strong field ligands this the ligands which contains the donor atoms like carbon nitrogen phosphorus etc will comes under strong field ligands if you see the examples carbonyl cyanide nitrosyl ammonia ethylene diamine edta triphenyl phosphine right so all these are comes under strong field complexes if we go for a weak field ligands with the ligands which contains the donor atoms like halogens oxygen sulfur are comes under weak field ligands for example here we are seeing all halogens comes under weak field ligands and the ligands containing oxygen sulfur are coming under weak field ligands based on the criteria the here is the series called the spectrochemical series this series has arranged based on increase of field strength from left to right okay so all these are arranged in a series like uh, with increasing of field strength right so if you see the left end of the series all the halogens are arranged here and the ligands with the sulfur mostly right so all these are comes under weak field ligands we go through the series it is increasing in the field strength therefore the right end of the series are containing strong field ligands so here the delta o that is crystal field splitting energy increases with increasing in field strength of the ligands these are the factor about nature of ligands and the third factor is geometry of the complex right so the crystal field splitting energy in sphere planar is more than that of the crystal field splitting energy in octahedral complexes is more than that of delta t that means crystal field splitting energy in tetrahedral and the relations will be delta sp equals to 1.3 delta o and delta t equals to 0.45 delta o these are the three factors which are affecting on crystal field splitting energy of octahedral complexes